Decentralized finance is transforming our digital world, bringing high-yield investing to the masses. But DeFi today is limited by high transfer fees and complex user experiences. Especially when investors, developers, and users want to move between chains, it's time for DeFi to break free. Today, DeFi is a world of closed systems with few bridges and limited connections. These systems can feel very distant from one another. Many assets are locked into their native chains. When users are able to bridge, they can face limited options, high fees, and even higher anxiety. One reason for this gridlock is the bridges themselves. Bridges between blockchains are separate pieces of program code outside of other blockchains and connected through smart contracts. When you use a bridge, a smart contract on the originating blockchain freezes the tokens to be transferred and then sends a signal to the destination chain to mint synthetic replacements on the new chain. No actual tokens are sent or received at any point in this process. Within this system, bridges need to be programmed one at a time. Once a bridge is in place, even a technically perfect smart contract cannot reach across the void between chains. These bridge limitations can cause even bigger problems for transferring non-fungible tokens or NFTs and running smart contracts across existing chains is almost impossible. One popular but imperfect solution is to build a second blockchain, sometimes called a layer two or L2 next to or on top of a primary chain such as Ethereum. However, Transactions on these secondary chains can be less secure and may be more vulnerable to various kinds of hacking or denial-of-service attacks. Bridges add even more confusion and risk for users on these chains. And that's not all. Since most bridges are built as third-party applications, they're not always integrated well. That means even more risk. For example, during an attack on the Poly Network in August of 2021, Hackers stole $611 million worth of cryptocurrencies. To build a truly secure, sustainable, and thriving blockchain ecosystem, we need to move beyond the bridge. Instead of building bridges and L2 networks to make up for the limitations of existing chains, what if you built a foundation chain underneath all of them to bring these separate worlds together? After all, you don't have to worry about the bridge failing if it doesn't exist. And that's exactly what FinCore can do. FinCore uses a brand new AI-powered consensus called Proof of Unity that enables ultra-fast, ultra-scalable, and ultra-cheap transactions and smart contracts. And all of it can be run on or between nearly every major blockchain, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and any other chain using Proof of Work, Proof of Stake, Delegated Proof of Stake, or Practical Byzantine Fault Tolerance. How is this possible? As a universal chain, FinCore uses a relay system to bring different chains together under a common consensus model, meaning FinCore transactions and even smart contracts actually run natively, even across chains. Any transaction sent to the FinCore chain from another blockchain is run through a relayer module that converts the transaction to proof of unity and writes it directly into our blockchain. To complete the loop, the transaction is restructured again, routed back through the relayer module and sent back to the original chain to be encoded and stored forever. After your transaction is accepted and validated, FinCore's relayer will transfer that network data to a FinCore pool to be validated by network nodes and encoded into the FinCore main chain to provide users with transaction security and total transparency. In other words, FinCore writes your transactions and smart contract operations directly into whatever chain you're using, adding layers of security and transparency, all in the blink of an eye. No more need for costly and restrictive centralized exchanges. No more complex, time-consuming, high-fee bridges. No more wrapping or NFT reminting. Your wallet address will remain unchanged. Hackers have no chance to attack. And for added security, FinCore uses artificial intelligence to identify and eliminate any vulnerabilities it can find. And here's the most exciting part of all. FinCore solves the trilemma. FinCore is the first layer one to provide world-class speed, security, and decentralization without compromising on any of these core principles of blockchain. As a result, FinCore is low cost. By optimizing consensus algorithms, 
FinCore reduces commissions and resource consumption to a minimum. That means thousands of high-speed transactions will cost just a fraction of a cent. FinCore is designed with decentralization in mind. Projects on the FinCore chain can be managed by users themselves through decentralized, autonomous organizations. FinCore is flexible. It's light, powerful nodes keep transaction costs low even at high speeds. And FinCore works with EVM, or Ethereum Virtual Machine, meaning Ethereum dApps run seamlessly and assets can transfer directly. And FinCore is universal. FinCore's cross-chain infrastructure means the growing metaverse of games, tokens, and NFTs are connected and the boundaries between them can truly disappear. Gamers, virtual assets, and data will move freely between universes without layering or bridging all on one universal chain. A true borderless chain of chains ready to power users, investors, and developers as we bring the metaverse to life together.